Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. Now in this video we are going to go over and show you how to import detailed pictures into Stormworks and we're going to show you how that to do that using a nifty tool that has been created. We'll go over everything that you need along with that but we'll also show you how to actually import images into the game and use them in your own creations. Now if you're enjoying these videos comment below and let me know what else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. While you're there don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and remember to click the little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started. Now, before we actually get started, I just want to mention, obviously, this is no way at all made by the Stormworks servers or any way associated with the game itself. This is actually done by a third-party content creator called Tajan. A lot of you guys will know his work over on the workshop with his logic and things like that. Um, but pretty much this obviously has been created completely separately and it's just an easier way to go and actually import your actual pictures into the game uh, using this editor itself so you don't have to go and struggle and paint every single pixel in the game itself. Now, to actually start uh, doing this process, we're actually gonna get out of the game itself. Now you can see all you have to do is open your web browser and actually browse to this website, uh, which is rising.at forward slash stormworks forward slash paint.php. Now, as you can see on the right hand side of my screen, I've got my actual logo, which is just a PNG file. And what we've done is we've actually browsed to it on the left hand side and selected that as our image that we want to import into Stormworks itself. Now you have a couple different options on the actual page itself. The first one is obviously to use glow. This is going to be go ahead and actually use the paint tool indicator. Uh, this means that you can actually light up the block itself, whereas you can also do it and actually use the paintable sign where it won't have the indicator lights that go ahead and light up in the game itself. So you have that little tick box that you can go ahead and select and unselect if you want. Along with that, you also have a size limit. Now, by default, it's at zero, which means it's going to be a one-to-one -one size, obviously in real life as it's in game. If you want to obviously scale it up, then you go ahead and put 10, 20, so on and so forth. Now, I usually recommend starting with usually about 10 or 20, depending on what size obviously you're using this for. Um, but for larger things, you probably want about 20. Along with that, you also have um, just a little thing, obviously at the bottom telling you where you can actually go ahead and place this file. Once you hit that upload button, pretty much what's going to happen is it's going to automatically download something to your computer. When it's done that, um, you can actually take that file and put it in your Stormworks file. Now, as I said, at the bottom there is the exact address where you will find that actual information of where your, all your vehicles are and that's where you need to put the file itself. Now, the easiest way to get to that is just to go ahead and hit the run button, enter in that address, and then you should ultimately go there. And you can just copy and paste that exact file that you've downloaded from this image tool into that folder. And then once again, we'll go back into Stormworks and we'll go find the actual creation itself. So I'm gonna go ahead here. You can see I've just uploaded it here. I don't want it as glow. I'm gonna do the size limits. It's probably about 20. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit upload. As you can see, it's now downloading a file for me, generator.xml. I'm going to go, yes, I wanna save that. Perfect. And then it goes ahead and opens it in the file. From that file, we want to go ahead and obviously, as I said earlier, transfer it over into the Stormworks file. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna load up the game and then I'll show you in game what it looks like. So now we're back here in the game itself. We're actually in the workbench. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hit that load button. And you'll see now if you've actually gone ahead and put it in the correct folder, you'll see just over here as your most recent, I renamed the actual file to be Jersey logo. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. You'll see here, you obviously have incompatibility difficulty saying it's not being built in advanced mode. Obviously I'm in advanced mode as default. Don't worry about that. That's perfectly fine. And you can see now the logo has gone ahead and actually loaded in. And we can obviously get rid of the direction arrows and you can see it's it's pretty much perfect um, obviously it's a little pixelated that's of course because obviously we are using pixel blocks uh, these pieces themselves are generic paint blocks as you'll be able to see here you can obviously paint everything that you want to paint if you wanted to edit this file you could and then you would pretty much if you want to add it into your creation you would just use the selection grid copy whatever you want to copy and then you can just pretty much import it into your own creation or you could just go and actually load any existing creation and then import it that way using the load content button and that's pretty much about it as i said earlier um if you were to use the glow button when you went into your logic you would see that all of these would have little red dots on them that you go ahead and click uh, your on and off to it but that's pretty much about it um pretty quite simple quite easy to do i think a lot of you guys have been requesting it or wondering how people actually get these really detailed images on their creations in game and now obviously you know exactly how they are doing it 
So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one.